Before we begin our class, let us have Brahmana. Is said 
to be in indirect speech indirect speech so what have you understood when we do not use the exact words of the speaker and when we use only the substance of the speaker's speech then the sentence is said to be in indirect speech i think you have understood what is direct narration and what is indirect narration what is direct narration when we use the exact words of the speaker and keep it with its inverted commas or in quotation then the sentence is said to be in direct speech or when we quote the exact words of the speaker within the inverted commas the sentence is said to be in direct speech and what is indirect speech when we do not use the exact words of the speaker but we use the substance of the speaker's speech then the sentence is said to be in indirect speech i think you have understood what is direct speech and what is indirect speech now let me acquaint you with the rules of narration speech i will not tell you many of the rules of the narration speech but i will make you understand by saying only two rules of narration speech here is rule number 1 when the reporting when the reporting reporting verb is in is in present tense is in present tense or in future time or in future time while changing the sentences while changing the sentences from direct to indirect speech from direct to indirect speech to indirect speech the verb of the reporting speech the verb of the reporting speech will remain will remain on change will remain on change this is the first rule what i have written here on the board when the reporting verb is in present tense or in future time while changing the sentences from direct speech to indirect speech the verb or the verbs of the reporting speech will remain on change what do they mean it means the reporting verb will remain in the same tense form there won't be any change provided the reporting verb is in present tense or in future time my second rule is rule number 2 If the reporting, if the reporting, if the reporting verb is in past tense, is in past tense, and the reporting, and the reporting, and the reporting speech is not. A universal is not a universal, universal truth, but fact or general truth, general truth or fact or scientific, 
साइंटिफिक साइंटिफिक प्रूफ ऑफ फैक्ट वेन द भॉल ऑफ द रिपोर्ट इन स्पीच वेन वॉट आई हैव रिटर्न इज द रिपोर्ट इन भॉल इज इन पास टेक्स और एंड द रिपोर्ट इन स्पीच इज नॉट ए रिमोशनल फैक्ट और जनरल ट्रूथ और साइंटिफिक ट्रूथ वेन The whole of the the cause of the reporting speech of the reporting speech reporting speech reporting speech will change into will change into the corresponding the corresponding. See what I have written. E the reporting verb is in past tense, and the reporting speech is not a universal fact or a general truth or a scientific truth. Then the verb of the reporting speech will change into the corresponding past tense. Try to understand the second rule. What I have written. If the reporting verb is in past tense and the reporting speech is not an universal fact or a general truth or a scientific truth, what does it mean? It means if the reporting verb is in past tense and the reporting speech is a universal truth or a general truth or a scientific truth, then the verb of the reporting. Speech will not change into the corresponding past tense. But if the reporting verb is in past tense and the reporting verb and the reporting speech is not a universal fact or a general truth or a scientific truth, then the verb of the reporting speech will change into the corresponding past tense. What does it mean? It means. Simple present, simple present, simple present. Part of the tense will change into will change into simple, simple past tense, simple past tense. Similarly, present progressive, present progressive, present progressive or Continuous will change into past progressive. Past progressive. Past progressive. Similarly, present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect will change into past perfect. Past perfect. Then. Present perfect progressive. Present perfect. Present perfect progressive. Progressive will change into will change into past perfect progressive. Past perfect. Past perfect progressive. Clear. Then simple past. Then simple past. Simple past. Will change into will change will change into past perfect past perfect. Similarly, past progressive. Past progressive, past progressive will change into past perfect progressive. Past perfect, past perfect progressive. Then 
पाफ परफेक्ट पाफ परफेक्ट विल रिमेन विल रिमेन विल रिमेन अनचेंज विल रिमेन अनचेंज सिमिलरली पाफ परफेक्ट प्रोग्रेसिव पाफ परफेक्ट पाफ परफेक्ट प्रोग्रेसिव पाफ परफेक्ट प्रोग्रेसिव विल रिमेन विल आल्सो रिमेन will also remain on change try to understand my second rule what have i told you is the reporting verb is in past tense and the reporting speech is not a universal fact or a general truth or a scientific truth then the part of the reporting speech will change into the corresponding past tense that means a the part of the reporting speech is in simple present tense that will change into simple past tense form of the verb similarly present progressive will change into past progressive present perfect will change into past perfect similarly present perfect progressive will change into past perfect progressive tense form simple past will change into past perfect past progressive will change into past perfect progressive past perfect will remain unchanged past perfect progressive will also remain unchanged here now i think i have made you acquainted with both the rules of narration change now let us go through the examples before i write the examples on the board So my first rule is: if the reporting verb is in present tense and the reporting speech is not a universal fact or scientific truth, gen or general truth, then the verb of the reporting speech will remain unchanged. What have I said to you? If the reporting verb is in present tense or in future tense, while changing the sentences from direct speech to indirect speech, the verb of the reporting speech will remain unchanged. Even if the reporting speech is in past tense or in future tense, there won't be any change in indirect speech, provided the reporting verb is in present tense or in future tense. If we change all these sentences from direct to indirect speech, these sentences are in direct speech. direct speech here see the exact words of the speaker are used with in inverted commas in all the three sentences here reporting verb is says and this is this part is called reporting speech the statement or the sentence that is with in inverted commas is known as reporting reporting speech and this part is called reporting verb here reporting verb is in present tense here and we know if the reporting verb is in present tense or in future tense while changing the sentences from direct to indirect speech the verb of the reporting speech will remain unchanged mr pravan mr pravan says only we have to combine in that speech sorry reporting speech with reporting verb using the conjunction that mr pradhan says that here i refers to mr pradhan so i will 
change it to he. He, I means, but he as it is in present tense, present form of the verb. As here the subject is third person singular number, we use s or yes. Here we have use s. Mr. Parman says that he means Nikhil. He means Nikhil at the airport. Full stop. See, we have not used inverted comma, comma or inverted commas in indirect speech. But what do we use in direct speech? We use comma and inverted commas. We use inverted commas only to keep the exact words of the speaker within inverted commas or in quotation. Understood? Now, let us go through the second sentence. He says, I don't like sweets. Remember my first rule. What have I said to you? If the reporting verb is in present tense or in future time, while changing the sentence from direct speech to indirect speech, the verb of the reporting speech, here the verb of the reporting speech is not like, will remain unchanged. It means the same tense form of the verb will be used in indirect speech. If we, talk, if we transform this sentence from direct to index speech, the answer will be, he says that, here I refers to he, so I will change it to he, he says that he does not, he does not like sweets. Here understood, this is index speech. Now let us go through the third sentence. He will say, I want four men to assist me. Here the verb is in future time. Here, and, and I have said to you, if the reporting verb is in present tense or in future time, while changing the sentence from direct to indirect speech, the verb of the reporting speech will remain unchanged. So here the answer will be, he will say that. He was, he was poor man, poor man to assist him. I think you have understood my first rule. Let me say to you again my first rule. And what is my first rule? If the reporting verb is in present tense or in future time, while changing the sentence from Direct speech to indirect speech, the verb of the reporting speech, the verb of the reporting speech will remain unchanged. It means the same tense form of the verb will be used in indirect speech. Here, now let me give you some examples of reporting verb with past tense. And what is my second rule? My second rule is if the reporting verb is in past tense and the reporting speech is not a universal fact or a general truth or a scientific truth, then the verbs of the reporting speech will change into the corresponding past tense. That means Present simple, not simple present will change into simple past. Present progressive will change into past progressive. Present perfect will change into past perfect. Present perfect progressive will change into past perfect progressive. Simple past will change into past perfect. Past progressive will change into past perfect progressive. Past perfect has no change at all. Similarly, past perfect progressive has also no change. Now, let me give you an example. The teacher said, the teacher said, the teacher said, the song rises, the song rises in the east. The song rises in the east. Here you see the reporting verb is in past tense, but the reporting
of speech is is a general truth or we can say the scientific truth so the verb of the reporting speech will not change into the corresponding past tense even then the reporting verb is in past tense if we transform this sentence from direct speech to indirect speech the answer will be the teacher the teacher say that the sun rises rises in the in the east clear let me give you another example my mother my mother say to me honesty honesty is the best policy honesty is the best policy clear first of all inverted comma x then plus the my mother said to me my mother said to me here object is taken but in the past sentence object was not used honesty is the best policy it is also a fact so while changing this sentence from direct to indirect speech there will be any change of the verb in reporting speech even then the report the verb of the reporting verb is in past tense my mother my mother my mother said to me or told me told me that honesty honesty is the best policy i think you have understood now let me give you a few examples ravi say ravi say kama i will go i will go to delhi to delhi to more to more clear here you see the reporting verb is in past tense but the verb of the reporting speech is in future time clear while changing this sentence from direct to indirect speech the past form of will be will be used because it is not this statement this statement is not a scientific truth or general truth or universal truth so the answer will be ravi say ravi say that he would go he would go to delhi to delhi and you know tomorrow will change into the next day or the following day the following day some changes are there so that is i think known to you now will change into there here will change into there tomorrow will change into the next day or the following day similarly yesterday will change into uh, the day before or the previous day clear the hither will change into hither these are known to you now let me give you another example ravi say ravi say i do my work i do my work i do my work sincerely i do my work sincerely see here the reporting form is in past tense but the here the verb of the reporting speech is in past tense as i have said to you if the reporting speech is not a universal truth or a general fact or a scientific truth then the verb of the reporting speech will change into the corresponding past tense provided the reporting verb is in past tense so what will be the answer or uh, when we will change into indirect speech what it will be ravi say ravi say that ravi say that he be he be he was sincerely sincerely clear see simple present 
is changed into simple past and mind is changed into his as Rabi is in masculinity. Then Rabi said, Rabi said, come on, I am doing, I am doing my work, my work sincerely. Here, same here. The verb is in present progressive. And this uh, sentence is also not a universal truth or general truth or scientific truth. It will change into the corresponding past tense. Present progressive will change into past progressive. Ravi said, Ravi said that he was doing, he was doing his work, his work sincerely. Sincerely, here. Now, let me give you another example. Ravi said, I have done, I have done my work, my work, my work, sincerely. Here. Present perfect will change into past perfect. Ravi said, Ravi said that, that he had done, he had done his work sincerely, sincerely. Now let me give you another example of a reporting speech with present perfect progressive tense form. Ravi said, Ravi said, Kama, inward comma begins. I have been doing, I have been doing my work, my work sincerely. Here, present perfect <coughs> progressive will change into past perfect progressive. Ravi said, Ravi said that, Ravi said that he had been doing his work, doing his work. Sincerely. Clear. Now let me give you another example with simple past. Ravi said, Ravi said, Ravi said, I did, I did my work, I did my work sincerely. And you know, simple past will change into past perfect. Ravi said, Ravi said that he had done, he had done his work, his work sincerely. Here, another example. Ravi said, Ravi said, come on, I was doing, I was doing my work. My work sincerely, sincerely, and you know, past progressive will change into past perfect progressive. Ravi said, Ravi said that he had been, he had been doing his work, doing his work, his work sincerely. Here, then Ravi said, Ravi said, I had done, I had done, I had done my work, my work sincerely. As I have said to you, there is no change of past perfect. Ravi said, Ravi said that he had done his work, his work sincerely. Here, another example, Ravi said, Ravi said that, Ravi said, Kama, I have been doing my work sincerely. If we come from this sentence from direct to that speech, as it is in the past perfect progressive, it has also no change in indirect speech. Ravi said that 
Ravi said that he had been doing his work sincerely. In my next class, I will give you some more examples of interrogative and imperative sentences.